Every time I feel like we're gonna have a small grocery haul, it turns into this massive one. Well, how about you guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Nicole. If you are new, thanks so much for stopping by. I have a weekly grocery haul for y'all and I expected it to be small. I only had a few things in my Walmart order at first and then it like blew up and we went to a million stores and added more stuff to our Walmart cart. Y'all comment down below like, do you think you're only gonna get a couple of things and it turns out to be like way more than you expected? What is what is going on? My boys eat everything in sight. I know that's what's going on. So I've got a grocery haul from Walmart. We did Sam's Club. We've got a Whole Foods run in there and Winn-Dixie. Let me take you down to the counter and show you all the things. $37 Whole Foods haul. We haven't been to Whole Foods in a hot second and that's why, cause it's whole paycheck. I know, don't get mad at me, but it's the truth. We have to go in there when you have those prime deals. I did get some things on sale. I went in for two things the peppermint whipped cream that they usually have they don't have it at my store yet I'm on the hunt and then Waylon needed something for school for a, a math project thing that they're doing and I paid way too much for that but it is what it is we found some really cool stuff cannot wait to share with you guys so everybody in the anabolic community raves about this puffed cereal they have the wheat they have the white rice kind they have two different brands I got this one because it was on sale the Arrowhead Mills organic puff I don't even know. Don't don't even ask me to say that. I'd be butchering it, but it's organic, no added sugar. And what I got this for is because you know I really like the the Cheerios, the pumpkin pie ones that we did, but these are way better. First off, look how massive they look like honey wheat or whatever that cereal was back in the day. But for one cup, it is 50 calories. It is 10 net carbs and two grams of pro protein. So if you add like some protein powder and some almond milk to this as your milk source, you have like a really good protein source and then you've got some carbs. It is super minimal ingredients. A lot of people add this on top of yogurt and stuff. I don't know, we're gonna give it a try, especially since it was on sale. I don't know why I didn't put any of this in my last Thrive order. Uh, I think they may be been out of stock, but this was a really good price over there. This is just the Whole Food Brands Pumpkin Puree. And you wanna make sure when you get it, guys, it just says, pumpkin on it because you're going to add all your other stuff. Oh Lord, you don't need all that extra garbage that they put in there. Bayla needed some graham crackers for a math project. Uh, no, five years old kindergarten math project that they're doing on Friday. That's what I went in for in the whipped cream. And these were, this is the only like graham cracker option they had. So that's what we got. So we got some bougie graham crackers for his project. Anytime I go in Whole Foods, I always pick up the organic mini sandwich peanut butter crackers. Love these. They don't sell anything comparable to this at like Walmart, Target, Target. They do have some at Trader Joe's that are pretty comparable and these are great to put in the boys afternoon snack for their lunch boxes. Y'all, this is something I was so excited to see. So Macros with M, I've mentioned her a couple of times on the videos. She is on Instagram and she posts all kinds of great like meal prep lunch items and she just made a Thanksgiving bowl. <laughs> like, yes, please with the green giant version of this. I haven't seen that at my Walmart. She claims she got it at Walmart, but I haven't seen it yet, but Whole Foods has their own brand and it was pretty good price. It's limited edition. This will not be all year. So if you want it, go and check and see if they have it. It's rice cauliflower stuffing, herb seasoned rice cauliflower blended with carrots, cranberries, leeks, onion, and celery. Oh my gosh, here for it. So for a cup, it is only 50 calories and 10 net carbs and one gram of protein. The ingredients are better than Green Giant. So I picked up two because I'm definitely going to be doing those bowls she posted on her IG. They look delicious. We'll be doing that post Thanksgiving for like Thanksgiving leftover lunch bowls. Y'all know I'm all about cold brew coffee. I bought all the Christmas ones because we're about to get into actually hot coffee season for me, but I'm still embracing the cold brew. I love it. This was pretty good price comparable to the Stoke at Target. I've never heard of this brand before at Whole Foods. They had a bunch of different ones. This is the unsweetened medium dark roast and it's a bold rich Brazilian coffee and what I liked about it is that it's 240 milligrams of caffeine per serving a 12 ounce serving and it's you know five calories zero everything it's just cold pressed coffee so we're going to give that a try I love trying like new cold brew coffees besides the crackers I always pick up the boys a bag of the organic cut fries they have different versions of these as far as the sizes go and I highly suggest if you're going to get french fries guys to get this one that's one thing I do not 
do still. I know a lot of y'all come for me about some of the things that I buy, but that's one thing that I continue to buy for the boys is the organic french fries from Whole Foods. They're pretty good price. And then last but not least, I wanted to get the Tuscan Green Giant Broccoli Blend. It's been sold out at all my Walmarts, and I'm sure this is a way better version, and it was pretty good price too. The Romanesco Blend with Lemon Butter, so you get cauliflower, Romanesco Florette, so broccoli basically is some bougie term. Steamed tender and tossed in butter, garlic, lemon, and seasoned with herbs. Steamable and bad. So for a cup, it is 50 calories. We've got five total, two fiber and two protein. And look at those ingredients right there. Stellar, my friends. And that's in three grams of fat. So even though it's got the butter and stuff, it's low in fat, low in calories. I'll let you guys know how it is in a vlog. So make sure to watch those Mondays, what I eat in a week videos. So that's everything we got at whole paycheck. Uh, don't if comfort. you've been watching the grocery hauls, you know I am next level obsessed with Thrive Market right now. I'm making all the orders. I'm about to make another one. When you're watching this, guys, check Thrive Market, they had a killer deal on Thanksgiving essentials, and that's why I'm thinking I'm going to make another order because the stuff is slashed so low in price. It is not even funny. And if you use the link down below, if you are new to Thrive, I think it gets you 30% off a free gift, all the good stuff. So if you're new, check it out, have that link for you guys. So I did get the Lily's Baking Peppermint Chips. Oh my gosh, these things are so good. You can find these at Walmart as well, but sometimes they don't have these specialty things. So when I see them on Thrive, I know we like them or if I want to try them. And of course, I always put them on a discount. I'm snagging them. So I got this for baking for the holidays. Speaking of baking, I put one of these in every order from Thrive. It's the Swerve Brown Sugar Replacement. Love this stuff and I'm flying through it. Also, they had the Lily's limited edition Christmas flavors. They had these last year. The gingerbread milk chocolate and the mocha hot chocolate. I don't even know if I got to try these last year because my hubby ate all of them. He loved them, except there was one other one and they did have it on Thrive and I didn't get it because he wasn't a fan. But I got these either for baking to add as like toppings for stuff or for snacking. Got some beef billetong. I wanted to try some new jerky. I know I've been obsessed with the Chomps ones, but these are the Strive brand. Now I just got the original in the Hickory and what I was really intrigued by is that the entire bag is 175 calories and 32 grams of protein and one carb for the whole bag and look at the ingredients it doesn't seem really hard so I'm really excited to give this a try and let you guys know that's a great snack option same thing with this one cannot wait to give a review on that now total opposite of this is the boom chicka pop limited edition Christmas flavors had to pick these up I love the one we got from Trader Joe so much I wasn't a big fan of the lesser evil pumpkin pie winter pumpkin spice one I'm gonna be honest but they had this one last year and of course I didn't get it because I was full on strict keto but this year I'm gonna give this dark chocolate flavored drizzle sea salt kettle corn a try yes please and I saw the frosted sugar cookie flavor drizzled. Oh my gosh, like so not good. 180 calories for, for a serving and this one's 170, but just to have a couple on your plate, it won't hurt. But if you eat the whole bag, you're in trouble, girl. Got some more of the Califia Creamer, another new flavor, pecan caramel. What Califia? I've just been sucked in by this brand. Y'all know I've loved the pumpkin one. I've got the peppermint mocha one. There's a cold one we got from Target. I think it's a caramel one too but these are shelf stable and these are so good and they're just 15 calories for a tablespoon two net carbs for my low carb car keto peeps so i got two of them because i've been loving them so much and they're on sale for a good price right now or they were for that thanksgiving sale and then last year i loved this marshmallow toasted nut pods so i saw that they had them they only put this out for around the christmas season so i went ahead and picked up two of those i do like nut pods and certain flavors some other ones i'd rather these other creamers got a couple of seasoning so I got the cinnamon sugar by primal palette never tried that before but I wanted to put that in replacement for a flavor godwin that I have because it's a little bit cleaner and then y'all know I love the noble made classic barbecue I pick up one of those almost every thrive order got a little bonza pasta wasted so I got the shells and the rigatoni I got two boxes of each they don't always sell these particular shapes at my Walmart but Walmart does sell bonza pasta and we have tried this knockoff to like Velveeta from bonza and we like it so I went ahead and got one of those to put in the pantry 
Marie. And then last but not least for Thanksgiving, I did get some broth. I have some kettle and fire chicken broth on hand, but I love this stuff. 15 calories a cup, clean ingredients, so freaking good. And then they have the Thrive Market brand organic bone broth and the turkey. And I'm gonna need this for my mom's dressing. And I just saw that Kettle and Fire has a turkey gravy. I got the, what was it? The, you know, the one that I got from Thrive Market, but I'm definitely gonna get, I have like five different gravies. What is my life? I'm a little gravy obsessed right now. Don't ask me why, but I'm like, oh, this looks good. Oh, this looks good. Let's try it, let's try it. I'll definitely let you guys know which gravy is the best to get for next year because your girl's got like 10 of them on hand. So that's our little small Thrive Market order. Like I said, don't forget to look for that link down below if you're brand new from Thrive. And if you aren't new from Thrive, go check it out and see if the Thanksgiving sale still going on because they had some killer deals. $77 Sam's Club pickup and the Walmart pickup was $102. Lots of substitutions, but most things were in our favor, so not mad about it. So I'm going to start down here. I got the boys some more of these Pepperidge Farms 12 slider buns. These are the mini white ones. They love this with like ham and cheese or bacon and laughing cow cheeses, peanut butter and jelly. It's just like fun, small size. Y'all know they're all about like appearance, texture, all those things. This was a substitution. I put something similar in it, same brand, but they did not have certain sides or whatever. So they subbed me for this one. They're a little pricey for what they are, but I thought Waylon might enjoy these. The apples don't look that great in them, not going to lie. It's got some cheese and some little pretzels in there. I think the one I had had like the cheese sticks that he likes. So we'll see if he likes. It's got peanut butter in there as well for an afternoon snack. Now their produce, I'm kind of like not uh, happy about the produce situation. Like this is the smallest bell pepper on the planet. First off, I have small hands. They may not look like it on camera, but my hands are super small and this is not going to cut it for what I need. I'm like, oh my gosh, it's like a miniature bell pepper. And then we also got a red. The red looks fine. I got two of the honey crisp apples. These things are mamma jamma though. I got those for Waylon to slice up for snacking. I got an English cucumber for myself. These green onions, like y'all, like they are like on their last leg. So we're going to cut those up now because they will last. That's a tip y'all gave me. Thank you so much. If you cut them up and put them in the fridge, they'll last longer than just keeping them like this. And then look at these bananas. Like how small are these bananas? I was like, is it miniature produce day up at the Wally World? I don't even know. And then they are out of like all bagged lettuce. Y'all let me know if there's some kind of like thing going on. Like I never am in the loop, but they had the spring mix baby lettuce blend. So I got that for side salads. Needed some of the part skim ricotta cheese. We're going to be making some shrimp stuffed shells, jumbo shells from Elise Ellis. So I needed that. Blue cheese was the substitution. They did not have the crumbles, so they subbed me the block. I'm fine with this. This is actually delicious. I've had it before. The Fiesta blend comes in a big bag at my big Walmart. That's where I picked up today. I usually don't pick up there, and they were out, so they subbed me two of the reduced fat Fiesta blends little bags. Totally fine. I just wanted a little bag of the Italian style, and they were out of that, so they subbed me a big one pound for a cup one, so that was nice. I like this one, guys. It's not reduced fat, but it's one of your lower calorie ones. I've been mentioned on the tree hauls. It's 90 calories for a serving versus some of your other ones are way more. I needed some Velveeta shreds. Don't come for me. Uh, come for macros with M on Instagram. This is one of her recipes and she loves adding the Velveeta shreds to a lot of her meal prep items. So I went ahead and got that. I don't mind it, y'all. It's 60 calories for a serving. I mean, here for it. And they also, did y'all know they sell the reduced fat blocks and the sharp cheddar. So I got that versus bagged for a recipe this week as well. Waylon has been loving him some ham. He is obsessed with just ham and some reduced fat sharp cheddar on these buns right here. He like would eat that every single day. He's like his mom. He would eat something every single day. He is not hard to please when it comes to what he likes. I got the black forest ham in the Hillshire farm, the one pound family size. The last time y'all saw me haul ham, we just went through it. So it lasts a long time. Instead of getting the name brand of the tubes, I got the great value brand. It's a really good price and the ingredients are about the same. You get four blueberry and four strawberry. So if you don't mind um, the ingredients on the others and these, this is definitely a better cost effective uh, for your kids. And then the Danimal smoothies, I thought I'd treat them and do this mix, which is the strawberry flavor and the birthday cake flavor. Like what? And they have all the fun like Disney designs on there. Haven't seen any Christmas ones in these yet. Y'all let me know if you've seen them because I'm on the hunt. Bird's eye rice cauliflower and the savory herb was a substitution. I had some other kind of like flavored one in there but this is going to work out just fine for a side for dinner one night the entire bag is 180 calories and it is like six 14 total carbs and six dietary fiber for my low carb peeps the ingredients are pretty 
decent, not a long line of ingredients. So happy about that. And I haven't tried these. Y'all let me know if you've tried the bird's eye, like cauliflower, different flavored ones. We're going to be doing pork chops this week. I feel like we haven't done pork in a hot second. And I got these thin cut ones for a recipe I'm making from Elise Ellis. I think it's a slow cooker pork chop recipe. Looking forward to that. I, I'm out of chicken. Like y'all saw me from Sam's Club haul that 10 pounder. It's gone. Like the chicken breast is going in this house with these recipes. Anabolic is like all about the high protein, right? So we are going through chicken like nobody's business. I got a five, I'm gonna go through this all this week. Five pounds is what I needed. So I got a five pound bag of the boneless, skinless chicken breast, frozen, ready to go. We're gonna be doing those shrimp stuffed jumbo shells I was mentioning from Elise Ellis and I needed some shrimp. So I like to get the wild gulf shrimp. Make sure you're getting wild caught and not farm raised fish and shrimp. Most important for my locals, you know. Waylon is out of his banana milk, which is the premier protein. And I can't find it at Sam's Club anymore. They don't have it online to ship either. And I asked him if he wanted to try a different flavor. This is the muscle milk and the strawberry. It's 25 grams of protein, zero sugar. It's comparable, 160 calories to the premier protein one. So we're going to see if he likes it. He's just so glued to that freaking banana one, y'all. I don't know how this is going to pan out. A couple of pantry items. So they do not sell these no sugar cups at my Sam's anymore. There's no option for it anymore. That's not available to ship. I don't know what's happening, but y'all know I've been buying those for a while now. But they do sell the big box at Walmart, 12 cups. You get four diced peaches, four cherry mixed fruit, and four mandarin oranges. These are sweetened with stevia and monk fruit. There is the other brand, and it has like a bunch of nasty stuff in it. So make sure you check which one you want to get this one. And Trey loves these for afternoon snack. I've been getting them the Tostinos cheese, y'all know, for their Taco Tuesday for the lunch videos, if you've been watching those. And Waylon informed me, I got the white cheese last time, and he said, Mom, I like the yellow cheese. Like, I was on another planet or something. Like, I devastated the child with getting the white one. Oh, my gosh. So I got the freaking yellow one because he was giving me a hard time, y'all. Like, the mom shame was real. But they had this Great Value Stadium-style cheddar cheese one. It looked delicious, and these are way cheaper than the Tostino's. Same ingredients, y'all, just like the yogurt tubes. Try to, you know, get these other things to help save those coins especially during the holidays, it helps. I'm almost out of baking powder. I use a tablespoon of that every time I make that French toast bake by Jack Perez. So I needed another one of those. Speaking of the French toast bake, I use this maple extract for the pumpkin version that I make and I'm flying through it. The Jip to go natural creamy cups. I wish other brands made this and I wish other brands made the little convenient cups and a little bit better ingredients, but this is better than a lot of other things. My kids love this in the afternoon. It's a good fat source, protein source. So that's why I get it for them. Paper towels, nowhere to be found up in the Sam's Club. Like, is that happening again? Y'all let me know where you are if you can find toilet paper and paper towels up at your big club because my, it says out of stock on everything. I'm like, oh snap. So I got this everyday strong paper towel it's four triple rolls and it was a decent price that'll tie me over until I can find some at a big box store and then here are the jumbo shells that we're using for that recipe these are hard to find they were out of stock on the app so I actually went in store to get this and also this Quaker yellow cornmeal I need for some cornbread muffins I'm making from Lise Ellis for a side they did not have this on the app but it was in store so that's everything we got at Walmart not too shabby for hundred and two dollars for the pickup Sam's Club 77 dollar fun little festive haul let's go so many of y'all were blowing me up i already knew about it so i was like a girl i already got it when y'all were like messaging me you're like nicole they have the win the winter mint chocolate premiere protein i knew they were gonna have a flavor like this i saw it last year i was so excited to see it at sam's club now this was not in my club this was shipped just like the birthday cake win and the pumpkin pie win. So check your app and see if you can get this shipped. If you are a plus member, it'll be free. You get 15 in here. I cannot wait to try this. I was not thrilled with the pumpkin pie win. I will not purchase that one again in the future next year, but this one I have high hopes and it looks delicious. For Trey and Waylon's teachers as a filler, I thought this was really cute. This is the Popcornopolis Gourmet Popcorn. You get 12 cone gift packs in here and it's got the caramel corn, snickerdoodle, cinnamon toast, 
and I think that's the only flavors that they have, but it was 12 and I only need like eight or nine. So the rest of them I'll put in the boys stocking, but it just looked delicious and a great price. I think this was like $10 for 12. So good to put in their teacher gifts. We're running low on eggs. I just got the basic two pack at Sam's Club. I know don't come for me, but we were doing all kinds of baking and stuff. So I want to just, we're not using a lot of whole eggs actually, um, as we used to. So this will last for a long time. However, I feel like I just bought these liquid egg whites and I need some more already, especially this week. I have a lot of egg white stuff on the meal plan. I'm almost out of my gain fireworks. These were on a $3 instant savings, I think. So that was a no brainer since I needed it. And I did not expect to get this at all. These are the So Shield. I think that's how I'm saying it. It's telling me how to say it. Thank you. Like they need to have this on all products. Corn chips. And these are the red and the green. Now my local Rouse's sells like the black and the orange ones for Halloween. They do this a lot, but I did not expect this at Sam's Club. And these are the huge 24 ounce bags. So, and they're gluten-free, pretty good ingredients. I, the boys love them in the past when I've bought them. So I got two of them for Christmas lunch boxes and to even take on our university trip to have them to snack on that will be awesome so that's what we got at Sam's Club and Wally World totally skipped over the Sprite Zero I put the six pack of the like 16.9 ounce ones y'all know I've been loving those so much they're only three dollars they were out of stock so they subbed me for this 12 pack and this was like six dollars so I saved like three dollars with that substitution so last that up is a twenty dollar Winn-Dixie haul for things that were out of stock and no substitution at Walmart so they did not have the chocolate chocolate Quaker rice cakes. I want to try the chocolate flavor. We've tried all the other flavors. So far, apple cinnamon is my favorite, but I'm going to put the maple pecan protein cream cheese spread on this this week for a dessert option. Yes, please. And the pumpkin one too. I have that in my latest meal prep video. Go and check that out. They had the cherry seven up zero sugars on sale again for a buck each. You had to buy increments of four to get it for that price. So I did. Have y'all seen that Sprite Zero has a cranberry? version they always have the cranberry version for sprite but they have a zero cranberry one this year i have not seen it yet y'all let me know if you've seen it and bought it these were buy one get one free and they're 378 at walmart so it made them 250 each at winn dixie better deal however this is not the sweet ones this is the nibblers and apparently they're 70 calories versus the other 50 calorie ones why the hell? Because they are still freaking corn. And these feel smaller than the other ones. I, I don't get it sometimes with these nutrition labels. Got some strawberries for Waylon. He's been loving the fresh. However, they're not looking that great anywhere. Walmart said they were out of stock of all strawberries. So we got one there. And then I have not seen my favorite golden delicious apples y'all are my favorite apples of all time y'all let me know what's your favorite type of apple but golden delicious is definitely mine they don't sell them at any of my walmarts anymore any of them i've even looked in store they had them at winn dixie today and they were million dollar it was like four dollars for these three apples but i'm going to be eating this with the maple pecan protein cream cheese spread next week for a snack that sounds delicious i treated myself and got those so that is my twenty dollar in store or when Dixie run in for out of stock items that's at That's gonna Walmart. do it for this week's grocery haul. If you enjoy these weekly grocery hauls, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. That lets me know that you enjoy these weekly hauls on my channel. And if you are new, I'd love to have you a part of the family. So make sure to hit the subscribe button, all the bells and whistles so you never miss a weekly grocery haul from me. Next week, we'll have our Thanksgiving grocery haul, the things that I need that I haven't picked up, you've seen already. And again, I thought it was gonna be small, but I haven't placed my order yet, but I'm adding things to cart, adding things to cart, going into stores today. It never ends. Hope you have an amazing day and an awesome week. And we will see you next week for a Thanksgiving grocery haul. Bye, guys.